Things got worse after you left. My father's gone mad with power. If you can hear this, please stop looking for your dad and help stop mine. I changed the door password to my name. If you're hearing this, and if you still care enough to help me, you should remember it. Message repeats. This is an automated distress message from Vault Tech. Vault 101. Message begins. It feels like you left home a long time ago, but I know you're still out there. I just hope you're still alive to hear this. Things got worse after you left. My father's gone mad with power. If you can hear this, please stop looking for your dad and help stop mine. I changed the door password to my name. If you're hearing this, and if you still care enough to help me, you should remember it. Message repeat. This is... Stop right there. I don't know how you got in here, but... Hold on. Wait a minute. It's you! I hardly recognized you with all the dust and grime from out there. Guess that explains how you got that door open. You've got more experience with it than most everyone down here combined. You just thought you'd pop in? Don't take this the wrong way, but you probably ought to just turn around and not come back. Things, well, they haven't gone very well since you and your dad left. This isn't the happy vault you grew up in anymore. There's real trouble. Let me bring you up to speed. It seems like it's been a mighty long time. The night you and your dad left, everything went crazy. Between the bugs and the confusion, we lost a lot of people. When your dad opened up that gate, he let loose a whole lot of... crap. If you'll pardon my language. I'm... I'm sorry to hear that. Regardless of how things turned out down here, he was a good friend. I always figured he'd do well outside. Matter of fact, a lot of folks started thinking he had the right idea. He usually did. So, if it was safe out there, why stay down here forever? Well, the Overseer didn't like that one bit and started cracking down on that sort of thought. Guess he didn't plan on you coming back. I probably ought to put you under arrest and take you into the Overseer, but frankly, I know better than to try that. Meanwhile, some of your old friends think opening the vault is a good idea. I bet those rebels would like a word with you. Now more than ever. Of course, if you want, you can just walk away as if you were never here. Out of respect for your dad, I won't even tell anyone I saw you. Well, okay. Just be careful. I really shouldn't be seen talking with you, you know. I... Okay. Follow me.
Uh oh. Wait here. This doesn't look good. You know I can't do that, Freddy. Now get back down below before I have to do something we'll both regret. What? You're gonna lock me up like you did to Brotch? You can't cage a tunnel snake, man, because we rule! Stay back! Holy Taylor! Crap. Don't you know enough to stay away? I didn't mean to fire. I really didn't. I just wanted to scare him off. But he had a knife. I tell you, I'm scared of them. I never know when they're gonna try something. I lost my poor wife Agnes is what happened. And all the chaos and fighting, her old ticker just couldn't take it anymore. Stop shooting, damn it! I guess you can see how bad things are down. As chance would have it, she was one of the first people to talk about life outside the vault after you left. I hope you can talk some sense into her. Or maybe the two of you can come up with some other plan. Cut it out. You don't belong here anymore. You're back a... It's all kind of blurry for me, but I hear I owe you for saving me. But don't expect much. The whole thing was your dad's fault in the first place. There... Yeah. Damn. Look who's come waltzing back. It takes some real balls coming back here after everything you and your dad screwed up. But if you've got to be back, might as well make yourself useful. Because you're a goody two-shoes, right? You get off on helping people in trouble. I bet she'd thank you herself, but she and I ain't exactly on speaking terms at the moment. At least, not when she's so... But I tell you, your old man had the right idea. I can't stand it down here anymore. You gotta help me. Because anything up there has got to be better than a lifetime of the same thing down here. Think about it, man. Down here, I'll always be stuck with the same job, with the same food, with the same people forever. You and your dad had the right idea. Get out of this pit and make your own life. I heard old Stanley complaining a lot of the stuff down in the reactor got fried pretty bad. Uh, nothing too bad, yet. But he's always worrying we'll lose air filtration or whatever. Of course, if that happened, guess we'd all have to leave the vault then, huh? Because you've always been a You're going to help Amada anyway, right? Just make it so we can leave the vault. And I'll leave and never bother you again. I'll start a gang, of course. Why, it'll be the toughest, coolest, badassest gang the Wasteland's ever seen. Hey, play your cards right, maybe I'll even let you... Well, they ain't seen nothing like me yet. Butcher's gonna take that wasteland by storm. The damn goat said I'm supposed to be a hairdresser, but that ain't me. 
I'm a barber. You got that? This. I'm gonna barber the hell out of your hair. Catch. I never thought you'd be back. You're alive! A lot of security got wounded, and worse. In all the confusion, we still don't know who's responsible for some of them. I hate that this whole thing has turned us against our families. But we just can't keep living down here forever. I mean, look at this place. Wow, you're back. Mom and little Monica got caught in the fires. I tried to get them out, I really did. But it was just too hot. I know it wasn't your fault, but my dad doesn't think as highly of you. You wouldn't want to hear what he said he'd do. I wouldn't call us rebels. I mean, we don't agree with the overseer, but we still love the vault. We just want to try going outside to Yeah. Good to see you. Oh my god, you're back! You got my message and actually came back! Oh, thank you! Everything's gone crazy since you left, and now that you're back, you can help set things straight. Chaos doesn't even cover it. It's a nightmare down here. People died that night, and all because my father went crazy to keep someone from opening the vault. And worst of all, then we found out the vault had been opened before. And they'd lied about it all our lives! After that night, I heard Wally's father say we should never have taken you or your dad into the vault. I found out the vault used to be open, but for some reason, they closed it off when we were babies and swore to hide that it had ever happened. But keeping that lie meant Jonas's death. And even though we know the truth, the Overseer still won't let us make our own decisions. Are you honestly comparing maybe we should look for help with stay in an underground bunker all your life or I'll kill you? Obviously, I don't know what's out there, but it can't hurt to take a look, right? And all this time, we're living in a tiny world that's been falling apart for 200 years. If we don't take a chance out there, we're just going to die down here. But none of that can happen while my father's got the place locked down. Please, something has to be done. You know that better than anyone. The real problems came after you two left. The injured had nobody to turn to since our doctor had run off and his assistant had died. Now, we've got to rely on that old Mr. Handy for most of our medical needs, and he hasn't exactly got the best bedside manner. Ever had an examination from someone with cold, metal pincers? You d I just don't know. Maybe he thinks he's protecting us, but all he's really doing is condemning us. I thought parents were supposed to want a better world for their children. Well, there's a new world waiting right outside that door. And we're not going to give up until we can reach it. Don't you get it? We don't want to abandon the vault. We want to open it. We still want this to be our home, but we want to get supplies from outside. 
trading, exploring, anything's better than just hiding down here. I certainly hope so. We can't keep going on like this. You will? Thank goodness for that. No matter what I say, he just doesn't listen. He just spends all day up in his office. But you've actually been outside, so you can tell him what it's like with first-hand experience. Just, please don't do anything rash or hurt him, all right? He's still my father. He may have made terrible choices that night, but he's the same person who's always looked out for us before then. Maybe he has some reason. Just please don't kill him. We've already had too many deaths. Hey. I never thought you'd be back. Oh, it's good to see you're back from outside. It can be dangerous out there for someone you're... My poor grandson Jonas died is what happened. They say it was just an accident and all the confusion, but I know it was the overseer. Oh dear, we aren't asking for anything special. The vault's been open before, but for some reason everyone tries to pretend it wasn't. I guess they try to forget the poor souls who never came back. Oh. Hey, good to see you again. Paul got bit real bad by some of those rad roaches, but he thought he could tough it out. If we'd had a doctor to treat him, he might still be here. The overseer thinks he's in charge of us, just because it's his job? Well, nuts to that! We do what we want, and we want to I tell you, those guards are getting nastier every day. One of these days is going to turn real ugly, but I'll be ready for it. I hope you're making progress with my father. I certainly hope so. What exact? The person you should be convincing is the over- How may I serve you, Master? Ah, another patient! This- Ah, yes, a rather unfortunate incident. In all the commotion, Miss- Beatrice suffered a rather bad... Obviously, I had no choice but to amputate. The leg. Yeah, I'm sorry to... But of course, with your father's departure from the vault and Jonas's untimely demise, the overseer had to take swift action. And so he named me the new vault medical practitioner. A marvelous decision, if I do say so myself. I am fully equipped. Ah, uh, human problems for human half. I don't trouble myself with such petty affairs. My work is my life. And, as you can see, I've been quite... got to change the Overseer's mind. I never thought you'd be back. Good to see you. Hello.
You've got to change the overseer's mind. You don't belong on here anymore. I don't know that I should be... With all of the bugs and fires, there was an awful lot of strain on the systems down on the reactor level. Our water chip's pretty delicate right now, but I'm working... It's just a phase they're going through. Every kid thinks they want to leave the vault at some point, but we all grew out of it. Never should have left, kid. Now we'll make sure nobody ever leaves again. Well, I see you've returned. Done with the dust and ruins of the wasteland, are you? Given up looking for Daddy? Thought you could just slink back in like a teen missing cur- Well, that's too bad. You have no f-
that would be where you're wrong, young man. By locking down this vault, I'm protecting its future. In fact, I was protecting its future when I had to make those unpleasant choices the night you and your father abandoned us. I only wish I could have stopped your father before he left. If anyone's to blame for the unpleasantness, it's him. I've spent many nights asking myself exactly that. He certainly didn't tell me before he left. I blame myself, really. I should have known better than to let him enter our home in the first place. He certainly showed his true colors in the end. Were he raised in the cleanliness of our vault, perhaps your father would have shown more dedication to the important things in life. Just as well that he left. We mustn't let humanity's last pure specimens be No, but he didn't risk bringing you out into it, either. You have to wonder, is that why he left you behind? He wanted to know you were someplace safe? And then, like a fool, you squandered the greatest gift he ever left you. I just don't know. Don't they realize how dangerous it is out there? But instead they would throw away the safety of the vault's isolation just to follow in your footsteps. I can't allow them to do that to themselves or to the rest of us. To fix what you started? Oh, do you? What makes you think you know how bad? I admit, in the 200 years since the war, our numbers have dwindled a little. But we have enough genetic diversity for a few more generations. My god, you're right. We won't last another hundred years, whether or not we get supplies from the outside. We're the last bastion of pure humanity, and we're doomed. I wish I could share your optimism, but I suppose you have a point in your blathering way. My way won't save our vault's mission, but if I let them contact the outside world, I might be able to save its inhabitants. But I'm not the one to lead them in that. I'm stepping down as overseer. I'll tell Amata that I can think of no more appropriate leader than she. Oh, come on. Pay more attention to what you're doing. I never thought you'd be back. I... I just heard. My father says he's stepping down as overseer. He won't tell me why, but I have to assume it's something you... You and him? Civil? I expected you to change out in the wasteland. But I guess we'll all be learning a bit about the outside now, won't we? As a new overseer, I'm planning on opening the vault. This time, for good. It's a bright new day for the vault, but I'm afraid there's one thing that has to change.
There are still so many things to repair and a lot of bad feelings to mend. Some people still blame you for what happened. So, I have to ask you to leave. I'm sorry, but the situation is just too delicate for you to stay. Please, if you really want to help the vault, you have to go. No, it's not like that. But if you stay, it'll just keep causing more problems. The vault can't take any more infighting. It's just what has to be. It'll be a while before we're ready to really go outside. But once the vault is stable again, maybe we'll see you out there. So, I guess this is goodbye for now. It's not much, but take this with you to remember us by. With luck, we'll meet again. I'm sorry, but you have to leave. Goodbye. It goodbye. We'll miss you. I never thought you'd be... It's a shame you gotta go, but you'll do okay out there, I'm sure. Good riddance. Get... Get out! It's a shame you've got to go, but you'll do okay out there, I'm sure. Get out!